Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Invincible Fight Gear Bag Gloves. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so today I'm going to do a close-up weigh-in and review on these Invincible Fight Gear Bag Gloves. They come in one color, this black and uh, brown color scheme. The brown almost reminds me of the uh, color of the leather car seats you see in some of the European luxury cars like Mercedes and BMW. I um, believe these gloves are made in Pakistan and they're relatively unknown. The only reason I knew about these gloves or this particular brand was a buddy of mine had a pair of their uh, training gloves and I saw him wearing them and I was really interested and I actually found these on Amazon. So. Uh, I'll kind of get into the details on the pricing and everything, but they're relatively inexpensive and the quality on these are really nice. So you have that Invincible logo right here on the back of the glove. It looks, I want to say it looks like a lion's head or a lion, the face of a lion and like a shield with four stars. They have double stitching in that same brown color to match the leather on the palm side. And it feels like a multi-layer foam on the inside which is pretty thick. I'd say it's almost, I'd say an inch and a half, almost two inches of, of thick padding, which is nice for a bag glove because it's kind of like a hybrid between a standard bag mitt that is just has like a layer of padding or sometimes no padding at all. On the palm side, you do have um, a disconnected thumb uh, that actually is closed off. So it's not an open thumb design. Some ventilated holes on the palm, uh, pretty large grip bar, which is really nice black piping you can see the stitching on the on the uh, palm nothing synthetic everything is leather on here and the cuff itself is actually really really reminiscent and similar to the rounded uh, Thai style Muay Thai cuff that you see in those gloves um, and then the inside is a uh, standard uh, polyester nylon liner and I believe these gloves are actually manufactured in Pakistan um, I don't think it actually had the the, where it was manufactured on the tag here, but you can tell just by the construction of the leather, it's most likely made in Pakistan. So very good looking gloves. Quality is definitely really nice. Uh, you can see the stitching looks really good. Even the, the wrist strap is real clean. And uh, it says Invincible Fight Gear right there. I'm not a big fan of the, the look of the actual font of the Invincible. <laughs> I think it looks a little bit on the cheap side like they could have redone that and made it look a little bit better but to each their own so let's go ahead and put these on the scale see how much these actually weigh i got mine in um size large they come in medium large and xl so let's go see how much these weigh so the left glove is right at 12 and a half ounces and the right glove is right at 12.3 Three. So they're almost exactly on weight, so about 12 and a half ounces each. Let's go ahead and do the review. Hey, what's up guys? Carlo here, and today I'm going to be doing a review on these Invincible Fight Gear all leather bag gloves. You can see it's a beautiful looking glove. I got mine in size large. You can get it in medium, large, or XL sizing wise. Color scheme wise, it only comes in this one, one color scheme that you see here, which is kind of the common theme with the rest of their gear lineup. Um, full genuine leather construction. I believe these are made in Pakistan and it has a really nice looking uh, brown leather that they use on the palm side for the detached thumb that's fully enclosed and then the black leather on the back of the glove. Now Invincible Fight Gear is a relatively unknown company. I looked them up. Couldn't really find much information on them. The only reason I actually knew about this brand is a buddy of mine actually had a pair of their training gloves and I thought they looked pretty cool and he let me try them on and, and use them for a little bit. And I was actually really impressed, especially coming from a brand I never even heard or seen of. So I looked them up a little bit, and actually found their products on Amazon. And uh, they have these bag gloves, they have some training, some sparring gloves. I think they actually have, actually have a speed bag as well. And they all have kind of the same look with this black and that brown leather. So they kind of go with more of that vintage old school look with their equipment, uh, at least from what I can tell. Uh, but I was actually really surprised with the quality of these. Uh, when they came in and, and they've been working out really nice ever since i've had them for a couple weeks now so you can see here this is a more of a, a traditional bag mitt or bag glove the old school style but you can tell that they integrated some new features in here that you find on, on gloves nowadays that you typically wouldn't find in old school bag gloves where typically it would be 
sometimes no no foam at all it would just be the actual leather casing and your hand inside of it and then later as boxing evolved and became a little bit more safe they would actually add a little bit of foam thin layer of foam just to give you a little bit of shock protection but other than that it was usually just the mitt and then like an elastic band that goes across and relatively no padding so it's basically like you're just doing bare knuckle uh, punching with just a little bit layer of, of leather over your hand just to give you some scuff protection and so you don't cut up or scratch up your knuckles but uh, now you have these so you can see here it does say invincible on the back of the glove with kind of that lion face design with the shield and the four stars uh, all black leather the leather on here i would say has more of a matte texture and look to it not very shiny uh, it has double stitching over the knuckle area and i believe it is a multi-layer foam that they use in here so you can actually see the foam actually has some good density to it, so the, these are very protective. Um, they're not overly stiff and they're not too soft. They're right in the middle. I'd say they're a balanced padding that they use in there. Coming to the palm side, you can see it does have double stitching on the larger grip bar, leathers tucked in, and then you have the ventilated holes on the palm and an enclosed uh, detached thumb right there. And you can see that's all stitched onto the, the face of the palm side. Um, coming down to the the actual Velcro strap. It's kind of a rounded off Velcro strap, very similar to what you see in a tie style glove where it's rounded off. Uh, the large tag right there, you can see it's a full wraparound strap and the inside uh, polyester nylon liner with some tags right here. Just the warning injury tag, it says 60. I'm assuming maybe that's like the quality inspector's number that they used. But you can see the liner looks really good as well. And then they put a piece of leather right here on the back of the wrist um, so that looks really good and full wrap around Velcro on that again black piping uh, um, as well. So a really nice looking glove. Quality wise these gloves are great. I mean I couldn't find any imperfections with the glove. The foam has stayed nice and consistent. I haven't had any issues with the foam having any bubbling. The leather quality is really nice. You can actually see the stitching. Is super clean and again from a from a brand that I've never even heard of or seen um, it's pretty surprising they look really good you know this is better than some some of the more well-known brands you can see the stitching looks clean and the leather is really high quality I like how this brown leather not only the color of it but you can see it kind of has that old kind of wrinkly vintage look to it which is really nice and it feels really nice and thick and even on the palm you can see the stitching looks great Fingertip compartment stitched in nicely. Piping is done real clean. If I were to critique anything, I'd probably just say I'm not really a fan of the actual like logo design. The Invincible looks like it was done like with like Microsoft Word and they just kind of <laughs> picked a font and then typed it up and then made a patch out of it. So I think they could do a better job of maybe marketing their product with a different logo. I just, I don't know. There's something with this logo that doesn't really stand out to me this one's not too bad but this one right here on the velcro strap i don't know feels like it's missing something or the, the wording is rough not on point so overall really nice quality glove i mean again i couldn't really find any issues and even the leather right here just looks fantastic comfort sliding your hand in here um being a large size i just base i base this off just my hand dimensions these gloves definitely fit uh, a little bit more on the snug side and you can actually see my fingers kind of poking through so maybe if i were to do it over again i might have gone with an xl um, one good thing is that the finger compartment is wide enough so it doesn't feel like your fingers are crowded but you can definitely see my fingers are kind of like poking out right here my index and that's my index right there and this is my middle finger right there so you can kind of see where they're poking out so i feel like this could have been a little bit longer to accommodate it and maybe have the foam extend out a little bit further to cover that. Uh, grip bar has really nice placement. Um, one other thing is I do like the, the, the uh, detached thumb because you can really make an excellent fist. The one thing I didn't really understand was this, why didn't they just cut this open and just let, let it ex be exposed? And I feel like right here, when I make a fist with this, you just have kind of this extra flap of leather because my, my thumb isn't long enough. You can see how much extra there is right there and maybe you might have a longer thumb than me and it'll fill that in but based on just the finger compartment i feel like the dimensions of this person's hand would be really weird like you would have a super long thumb but the rest of your fingers would be super short to to fit inside here so i feel like 
the hand design right here is a little off. Like if you're gonna do, if anything, just cut this this tip off, and just that way I don't have, I don't feel like I have this little extra piece of leather that I, I feel that's kind of just blocking and getting in the way. But outside that, it feels really comfortable. It has some relatively broken in feeling to it. The liner feels really good. Obviously, you can't really talk about thumb placement like a standard sparring glove because, again, this uh, thumb is detached, so you can really put your thumb in any position you want to. It's meant for bag work, so definitely do not use this for sparring. Um, you can definitely poke somebody's eye with this or even break your thumb because it's detached, so be mindful of that uh, for bag work. Wrist support feels really good. Overall, feels really good. Just say that maybe the foam needs to be a little bit longer right here because that's kind of pushing through. Uh, and cutting this tip of the thumb off or at least uh, kind of reinventing the ergonomics of this to make sure that it matches with the length of the finger compartment in my opinion. Uh, comfort of the gloves feel good and uh, you know I would say the the performance is really nice as well you know if you're looking for more of a protective bag glove where you get a good amount of pop but it really absorbs the shock this would be a really good choice for you um, especially if you're using it on the heavy bag. Um, if you're looking for something that you want kind of a blend between a bag mitt, but a little bit more protection like a bag glove, something similar to that would be like the rival RB50, where the RB50 is kind of a fusion of an old school bag mitt or a bag glove, but then they put the D3O in the knuckle compartment and kind of give you a little bit of extra padding to give you some protection. So that's kind of right along there, except this is a little bit thicker than like the RB50. So it, it gives it a little bit more of a thudding feeling rather than a cracking feeling. Still get good feedback, but definitely more on the protective side. Now, cost-wise, these gloves are about $68 with free shipping on Amazon, which I think is a great deal considering the quality on these are top-notch. Um, the protection is really good. They look great, except for maybe this patch that I think is kind of weird looking. And just some of the little details like the thumb needing to be readjusted size-wise or at least cutting that off and then maybe this little this part in the fingertip compartment outside of that i think they're a great bag glove especially for the the price of 68 70 bucks just depending on where you're at and um, how much it costs on amazon at the time i know sometimes they adjust the pricing uh, but you can't really beat that price for a bag glove of this quality and protection so if you guys have any questions or comments make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box I'll put the link in the description box where you can find invincible bag gloves. See you guys next time. Peace.